Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. Yay! Boy, am I ready for a couple of days away from my regular work routine. It's a beautiful day here in Florida, in the Tampa Bay area. It's just a spectacular, sunny, clear, beautiful, warm day. And um, I woke up this morning with just a heart full of gratitude and had a really good sleep last night. I hope that you were able to get a good rest. So in yesterday for the month of May, I started reading from author Melody Beatty's book, Journey to the Heart. Yes, I know this is backwards. Um, Melody Beatty has written for years about topics on codependency and recovery, and I've been a big fan of her work for a long time. So I'm reading daily now from um, Journey to the Heart that I will share with you. It says today, see the divine all around you. The woman was old, perhaps 90. She had the frailness we sometimes see in the elderly, but her life force was strong and vital. She sat in the cafe eating breakfast with a younger woman. You've been through a lot, the younger woman said. It must be hard since your husband died. How are you doing? The older woman chewed a bite of toast and then responded. I'm okay, she said. Everything that's happened has brought me to a closer walk with the Lord. What do you mean by that? The younger woman barked. This is what I mean, the older woman said. I see God more in everything in people, in things, in the world, in myself. It's just a closer walk. I smiled to myself, quit eavesdropping, and finished my breakfast. Every religious faith has its own language. Each has its own frame of reference, but most roads lead to the same destination taking our place in the divine rhythm of life, recognizing divinity in all that is, in others, in ourselves, and in all the creations of the universe. Open to your connection to the world around you. Know that we really all are one. The connection is God. The connection is the divine, as each of us understands it. The connection is love. It's really not that complicated, is it? It is so sad, I believe, especially to Jesus, how human beings have bickered and fought and complicated the message of the risen Lord. I believe from within eight seconds after he ascended into heaven. I think they started arguing like right away. The scripture passage that I've chosen to go along with this reading today is from Colossians 3, beginning in verse 12. Since God chose you to be the holy people whom he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. You must make allowance for each other's faults and forgive the person who offends you. That's not always easy to do, is it? Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. And the most important piece of clothing you must wear is love. Love is what binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are all called to live in peace and always be thankful. This morning, I offer us all an opportunity to be able to forgive to let go of those things that are causing us stress or to be anxious 
You know, sometimes people do and say stupid things. Sometimes I'm that person. Sometimes you may be that person. Each of us stubs our toe along the way and there is tremendous freedom and peace when we allow ourselves to forgive other people, to make accommodations for other people's stupidity, uh, inconsiderate behavior. Please understand that doesn't mean that we accept it. That doesn't mean that we allow it to continue and go on and on. But there's a difference between being able to let go or to forgive and allowing yourself to remain in the thick of the situation. Clothe yourselves in love. Clothe yourselves in peace. It's almost like having a Teflon shield around you of love and serenity. It's not perfect. I certainly don't do it perfectly all the time by any stretch of the imagination. But God knows I try every single day. Please pray with me. Loving, gracious, and patient God, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for helping me to learn to be patient with other people, especially when they tick me off. Help me to remember that you are the creator of the universe and that you are in charge. And that no matter what happens, if I allow myself to default to your love, that you will fill me with a peace beyond my intellectual understanding. Thank you, God, for helping me one more day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm so happy to see you here, Brenda and Francie and Eileen, dear, dear, wonderful friends. Thank you for being part of this today. And if this has been helpful in any way, please consider sharing it to your own page so that we can get the word out to other people. Have a safe, blessed, and beautiful, peaceful day. Thank you.